because it's a bit lighter than the uh, regular flour. Oh, good tip. We have filo pastry, egg, for the, uh, egg wash for the filo pastry. We have milk, black pepper, nutmeg, salt, olive oil, okay. and this is a dressing, vinaigrette for uh, the, the arugula salad. Feta cheese, enfilade cheese, and uh, mozzarella cheese. And I recently learned that anytime I make anything raw or vegan, mm -hmm. We need gloves there we at go. all times. Okay, so we are making this beautiful migma, and I've actually never made tiropitaka, which is just a translation okay. for cheese pie, with mozzarella as well. So, so this is yeah. mozzarella and feta, and we're mixing it together with the egg, okay, to make a delicious filling. So, yeah, mozzarella is a very stretchy cheese, so it's okay. going to add a certain textural Texture. component to the pie itself. Okay, so not so much flavor, more like a texture. Yeah, it's, it's a textural thing. You know, we're gonna have crispy, gooey, crunchy, all at the same time. So it's gonna be a, a flavor explosion, a textural explosion in your mouth. Ah. And kind of hold the, the rest of the ingredients exactly. together too. So. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so step one. Okay, so we crunch this up. Yep. Okay. So with this uh, recipe and um, you should have, it, it could make about 15 uh, 15 cheese pies. Sorry. Oh, okay. So with the recipe at the end of every show, I let all of our viewers know. Yeah. Oh, 200 okay. grams of um, feta. Okay. This is 50 grams of uh, mozzarella and 50 grams of enzyme. Okay. Cheese. This looking good? Salt and pepper to taste. Okay. So what's next? That's looking good. So uh, let's go ahead and add our mozzarella. Okay. And also our emmental cheese. Okay. Oh, so both now. Yep. Put it yeah. all in. Okay. Perfect. Uh, key to remember too is you don't want to use too much feta because feta tends to be a little bit salty. salty. Ah. So, henceforth, why we're using all the different blends of cheese, right? Very good tip. Yeah, very good. And then we just do our. Do we add salt in this recipe, though? Yeah, we oh, add a little taste. to taste. Okay, taste. Okay. Which means for our viewers at home, very little. Yeah. Right? Okay. Very good. Okay. So this looks crunchy to me. And all meshed up together. Okay. And what do I do after this? You could have uh, Chef John working on the pillow. It's okay. a very... So, what we're gonna do is, okay. we're gonna start by um, spreading a little bit of this flour okay. on our working, our working surface here. Okay. Just, as usual, we're doing it high up so we could get an even spread. Okay. And then we're gonna take our phyllo and we're gonna start Unfolding our pastry. Put in a time right here. Okay. Now, is this something easy to work with, John? Because it looks difficult. Um. Well, you know what? As long as you keep it at, you keep it cold at a good temperature. Okay. It's quite easy to work with. Okay. If you start letting it get too warm, though, it starts drying out and gets brittle, and then you're in a world apart. of trouble after That's that. That's why part. it breaks apart, right? Yeah. So the key here, you need to keep it yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, we're gonna divide this, right? Yes. Okay, so while he's dividing that, am I adding something in here? You, yeah, you can continue with the filling. Which is the milk. our milk. Yeah. Okay. So we're dividing this into quarters. Salt and pepper to taste, and you can just give that a stir. Okay, is this salt and pepper here? This is salt here. Okay. Pepper. The taste. Is oh. that enough? Sprinkle. Give me a stir. Okay. You can help me. Yeah. Well, John does the hard stuff. Okay. okay. And uh, Chef Peter, if you want to give this egg a beat so we can um, use it for our 
I'll just use the same sheet. Okay, so are you doing an egg wash on the filo? Yeah, okay. we're gonna we're gonna wash it too on the inside so like that it will stick when okay. we're frying it so it won't open up while we're. Ah, uh, oh, very good, and it gives us flavor yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. And you know, don't be afraid if you don't, you know, if you don't have egg, you could just use some water and that works perfectly. Oh, well. Or milk. Yeah. Or milk. Okay, yeah. very good tip. Okay. We're so you can go ahead and taste to see if yeah. you want to add some more salt or pepper. Oh, okay. For me, it's good. Okay. Well, it is. You know what, though, guys? The, but the tip of the cheese was good because I can taste that the feta definitely is salty yeah. and the mozzarella is not. So it gives me a balance, right? Okay. Here. Now, I'm gonna get Chef Peter to show you how to assemble these pies. Okay. So. I thought that egg went in here too. We don't put egg in here, we just put it in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. So, over here now, I'm gonna give, we're gonna flower up Chef Peter over here a little okay. bit. Okay. Egg wash. Tablespoon of filling. Okay. Or, uh, cut up, uh, fill oh, okay. So I'm thinking here that we had to egg wash it first, but no, we put in our filling. Yeah. Okay. What you really need to do is egg wash the sides. Yeah. So it can okay. stick so together. The so when you go to fry it, it doesn't open up. Open, open okay. up and pull okay. apart. Or... Okay. Good tip for us newcomers, yeah. okay, in the kitchen here. Okay. So any shape we want, we yeah, fold shape. that up, and that's it. Yeah. Very easy. You think I should try one? Yeah. There we go. We're gonna give okay. you a try some right here too. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. There we go. I take it. So the cheese filling first. And also, like, you're not limited to just having cheese. If you wanted to put some spinach in here, or some scallions, oh. some chives, some fresh mint, whatever you it's want, that. it's pretty much it's your, oh. it's your, uh... You can play with it. Actually, yeah. since you mentioned spinach, I don't know if you know, but mm -hmm. one of the most famous Greek dishes in the world yeah. is panagopita. Okay. So we add yes. spinach to this. I'm yes. sure you guys know, right? It's actually my, whoever wants to win my heart on the show, it's my <laughs> favorite dish in the entire world. And actually, the chef in Athens has promised me that he's going to make me gluten-free panagopita when I return. So, Chef Cristo, I'm still waiting for that. Okay. <laughs> but yes, you guys are right. You can add a lot of different stuff to this and it's super delicious, right? So egg wash all around. Am I folding now? Yes. Okay, any design I want. Any design you okay, want. So right now I can hear my yaya yelling at me. Some more, more, more flavors are better. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I've made a kite. Not as neat as the mask, but... <laughs> what do you guys, does that work? Yeah, do you want fine. any egg wash here? Oh no, you're, you're good right there. I'm good? As long as it, as long as you have the egg wash right here, no. sticking it down, you're okay. This is not gonna fall No, when you start frying it, it's gonna seal. The egg wash is gonna seal everything in, so you'll be good at that. Okay. okay. The but egg wash you basically use it as paste. Yeah. Oh, yes. as a paste. Okay. So now that we've got that, the only thing we have to do now is fry them. Yeah. Okay.
Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So, so to finish garnish uh, the cheese pie, mm -hmm. we've omitted the nutmeg from the cheese batter because I think the nutmeg would give it a better smell, a better taste okay. by putting it on top. Uh, so we have honey and okay. sesame seed just for uh, the cheese pie. It's gonna add a sweetness to it, yes. something unique. Okay, yeah. perfect. So it's okay. a very simple vinaigrette. It's just olive oil, balsamic, a little salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, just to bring out the freshness and the spice of the arugula itself. Okay. And just to kind of like counteract the sweetness and the spiciness we have going on from the nutmeg and the honey. Perfect. We're gonna come with a little bit of acidity in there okay. to balance everything together. Okay, perfect. Here you go, you can start making the yeah. Okay. Cool. So how do I begin with this? So you're gonna throw that oil in. Okay. Then we're gonna use the balsamic vinegar. Okay. Just maybe half of that. Oh, there we go, that's fine, that's fine, okay. yeah. Salt, pepper? Uh, to taste, to taste a little bit. You pinch, Yep. not pinch. throw. It's better ah. to nope. pinch, Yeah. because ah. you can okay. never take salt out of a food. Yeah. You can never yes. take salt out yeah. of a food. I love a lot of pepper, but I mean, that's all I do. Now I whisk, right? Whisk it. Now I've removed my gloves. Yeah, so that's okay. okay. I'm just going to be careful no. here. Tongs, okay. tongs. You can use tongs. Chef Peter, do you want to grab me a fork? Because I actually, uh, I would like to eat some arugula salad. Of course. Okay, yeah. So then we're going to come, we're going to take okay. the beautiful uh, cheese pies here. That looks beautiful. And, and while you guys are doing that, you guys are know, I'm eating with the bowl. Oh, are you? I'm actually known <laughs> at home, my mom hates it, honey but first, I really honey, like, honey I'm going to try this. Stick, stick, stick honey first. Very tangy, Oreo. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to taste good. That looks beautiful to me. So, so why don't you guys dig into that cheese pie while okay. I'm digging into the salad? Sounds good. I want to okay. see you guys pick that up. Okay. Okay. Put it on hands. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything tastes better with our Let, hands. Let's get let's get in here. Let's get some of that arugula, some of that cheese pie. Hey, I mean, we now normally we don't do this. We're, we're never ever supposed to eat in front of people or in front of the camera. We're always supposed to turn our backs. That's really? just what we're taught. Really? Yeah. But for a camera's sake today, hey, why not for this show? I didn't know that. It is. For chefs. Oh, for chefs. Cheers. So, you guys know the Greek I taught you. Yasa. Yasa. Bye.